fall is here. It is one of the busiest seasons of the year for me. There are a lot of activities going on. So I'm gonna share with you three 30 minute meals that will make your life a little easier. All right, guys. I have a special announcement at the end, so make sure you stick around. The first recipe we're making today is our one pan Parmesan chicken and vegetables. So we're gonna take our nonstick cooking spray and just spray a cookie sheet. Next, we're gonna take six tablespoons of butter and microwave it until it's melted. Then in a separate bowl, we're gonna take one cup of Italian seasoning breadcrumbs, one cup of Parmesan, this is the grated Parmesan, and then here I have a half teaspoon of garlic powder and then just some salt and pepper to taste. So next time probably use a bigger bowl. Okay, to make this a little bit easier, I'm actually gonna use like a, a cake baking sheet because we're gonna dip our chicken in here and I, I just have a feeling that will be everywhere. So we're gonna put it in something a little easier. Okay, now this recipe calls for six chicken breasts, but these are large chicken breasts. So I'm actually gonna just cut them right in half and that way they'll cook a little bit faster and it will feed six people instead of three because there's no way that my kids will be able to eat this whole chicken breast. We are ready to go. So first we're gonna just dip it right into the butter. Then we're gonna go right into the seasoning. Those are big chicken breasts. Okay, so now we're gonna take a big bowl and we're gonna mix our vegetables in here. So first I'm gonna take, I just have a bunch of asparagus that we rinsed and then I have potatoes. I love to buy these kinds of potatoes because then you don't have to chop, you don't have to do anything. I just like to eat them whole. And my kids kind of love them too. So we're just gonna pour these right in. Next, we're gonna just put in some olive oil. And just mix those around a little bit. We want the olive oil to cover all the vegetables so that the seasonings will stick to them. Okay, so just a little bit of salt and pepper. We're just gonna pour that in and then mix that around one more time. You can add other seasonings too, like whatever your favorite seasoning is to put on your vegetables. Here's the tricky part. We're gonna put the vegetables all around the chicken. It's okay if some of the vegetables go on top of the chicken. It will work just fine, but we're gonna try and go around the chicken as much as possible. And yes, you can make this all pretty if you want to, but really it's a 30 minute meal, so we're kinda just trying to get it done, get it on. All right. Looking good. Okay, we're gonna cook this at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or until the internal temperature is about 165 of the chicken. We don't wanna overcook the chicken. The next recipe I'm making is our turkey meatball lasagna roll-up. So we're gonna start by cooking our lasagna noodles. Again, we're trying to make this 30 minutes, so we're gonna do the thing that takes the longest very first. So I have a pot full of water. We're gonna turn it onto like medium-high heat. Once it starts boiling, then we're gonna start putting our noodles in. And those will cook just until about tender. You want them a little bit hard, but not too hard. You wanna be able to move them to, to roll them up. So we're just gonna stack these in. So while the pasta is cooking, we're gonna put together the little mixtures. One and a fourth cups of mozzarella cheese. We have about a half a cup of cottage cheese. Now, I always buy a huge thing of cottage cheese. This is probably is one of my favorite foods, I'm not gonna lie. I love cottage cheese. We're just gonna eyeball here. It's okay, half a cup, we're pretty close. Yeah, a little more, that's okay. Then we have eight ounces of cream cheese that we've softened, so you can cut that up. I'm just gonna actually just throw it in here and mix it the best we can. We're just gonna cut this up a little bit with my fingers. <laughs> now we're just gonna mix this all together. <laughs> Sometimes cream cheese is hard. If it's not as soft as you want, I mean, I usually will get my fingers in there and like really, really mix it together. Don't worry, my hands are washed. This one is ready, so we're gonna set this aside. Now I'm just gonna get everything else ready. Okay, just gonna open up the meatballs. Have those ready to go. Now these are still frozen, which is totally fine. Let's, let's go check on the noodles. Now I'm just gonna drain the pasta. All right, so we're gonna take about a cup of the pasta sauce, pour it into the bottom of our pan. Okay, this is the best part. Well, it's my favorite part. So we're gonna take each noodle and put our filling on. I don't want a ton of filling because we still need to be able to roll it, but we want enough that it kind of will spread out. Good thing is this doesn't have to be perfect. No one will see the inside of of your noodle. Then we're gonna take 
some frozen meatballs. These have been sitting out for a little bit, so they are a little more thawed. They're a little soft. <laughs> They're a little soft. <laughs> Once we have our meatballs, we're gonna put them right next to each other and then just roll up the lasagna noodle. Just like that. And you're just gonna put it into the bottom of your nine by 13 pan. Let's see how many we can fit in here. All rolled up, ready to go. We're just gonna, I just like to add like a spoonful of sauce just right on top. Just make it more, mm, better, much better. They're like little lasagnas, right? You need sauce. Okay, then we're just gonna top it with mozzarella on top. All right, we're gonna bake it 350 degrees just until it's heated through. That's all we need. So let's check it at about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, this one is done. Oh, it looks good. All right, you guys, if you've made it this far, fun announcement. We have our Six Sisters seasoning coming out soon. There is a wait list you can get on. Make sure that you do that. I'll put a link down below in the description. We only have a few of each one. So if you want one, you better act fast. And the last 30 minute recipe I'm making for you is our brown sugar glazed pork chops. So we have some seasonings in here just to make life easier. So we have half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of papi paprika, and then a half a teaspoon of each salt and pepper. So I just like to mix that together. It just makes life a little easier. Then I have, you're supposed to use a fourth a cup, but I decide to use a half cup because I have a lot of pork chops and I just want to make sure there's brown sugar on all of them. So then you're just going to mix your seasoning into your brown sugar. Now I have my tongs here, but sometimes it's just easier just to use my fingers. So I'm gonna grab some pork chop, I'm gonna grab some seasoning, and we're just gonna pat this, the seasoning on each pork chop. Turn on my stove to like medium high heat, and then we're gonna add, you know, it's at like two to three tablespoons. I just kind of like to put a lot of oil in there because it just cooks a little better for me. Okay, once this is all hot and ready to go, then we'll put on the pork chops. Okay, we're gonna put the pork chops on and cook them for about five minutes on each side. Now, before I pull them out, I like to like, you know, make sure they're in the juice a little bit. We want them as juicy as possible. Ooh. All right, pork chops are all done now. My mom is coming. We are going to taste test the recipes to see if, you know, they're worth putting on your weekly menu or if they're just kind of a, a one and done type thing. Chicken is done, ready to taste test. You ready? Yep. Okay, I'm just going to kind of just cut into it. Oh, you don't even, you, you don't, don't even need, need a knife. You can just go. I mean, unless you don't have strong muscles like I, I do. do. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, what do you think? That's really good. It is really good. I am I like to rank things out of five, so I'm giving this one five out of five. It's good. It's really good. Five for me. Five? Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I'm most excited for this one. <laughs> it okay. smells the best, I feel. Ready? Ready? That's a good one. It is a good one. Probably one of my favorites that we've made. <laughs> Pork chops are done. Ready for a taste test? Yep. Okay. This is the one I've been more excited about. Really? Mm -hmm. I love chicken. I usually don't love pork. Cheers. <laughs> You're right. It's really good. Five. Five? I'm gonna give it a four and a half because I like this chicken better. <laughs> All right, guys, if you want more 30 minute meals, I have plenty for you. These are some of my favorites. I'll see you next time. Bye.